What a season for St. Augustine. They lost to both Menendez and Bartram Trail for the first time in years. And the Yellow Jackets dealt with injuries most of the season. St. Aug endured their longest losing streak since 1995, but somehow found a way to bounce back to win four of their last five. They won the district and earned a spot in the playoffs. Tonight, they tried to keep it going at home against Escambia. To St. Augustine we go. Yellow Jackets hosting the Gators. St. Augustine in the gray, Escambia in the white. We start in the first play of the game. Jackets decide to kick it deep. Not a good idea. Patrick Sanders takes it down the sideline, makes the break, and here he goes. All the way. Nobody's going to catch him 90 yards off the return. Props to the ref for keeping pace. Extra point good. 7 up to Escambia early. St. Augustine with the ball now. Sam Edwards back to pass, tries to hit his man over the middle. Ball is tipped and intercepted by Escambia linebacker to, to Darius Dunn, who returns it to the Yellow Jackets territory. Gators ball. A few plays later, Escambia at the four-yard line. Av Smith takes the snap, hands it off to Franklin Pessant, who goes in for the score. Extra point good. Escambia up 14-0 after a three and out. Escambia with the ball again. Av Smith tosses to Patrick Sanders, but he gets it stripped, and it lands right in the hands of St. Aug's Nicholas Barlow. And Barlow finds a crease, eventually taken down inside the Escambia 20, lead to a field goal, which would make the score 14 to three. Escambia driving again, late second quarter. Smith takes a snap, play action pass over the middle. Hits his man, Demetrius Gideon, who juggles it, but brings it in for the score, 15 yard touchdown, 21 to three. At that point, Escambia goes on to win it, 33 to 16. The most dominant team this year has certainly been Trinity Christian, no doubt about that. The Conquerors scored at least 30 points eight times in 10 games. They scored more than 40 points five times, and twice in the last month they topped the 50-point plateau. To say the least, they are one of the teams to beat in the 5A playoff today, hosting Suwannee. Would it be more of the same? Answer, yes. Trinity on the opening kickoff. Wouldn't take long. Fred Davis takes it at his own five, makes a sharp cut to the left at the 12, heads to the sideline, and then just outruns everybody. Gets a good block right there. 95 yards for the kickoff, 6-0 Conquerors. After a quick three and out, the Conquerors would get back to work on offense. Second and 10 from their own three, no problem, handed to Marcus Crowley. The recent Ohio State commit into the secondary in a hurry, nothing but green grass in front of him. It's only a 97-yard touchdown run, 13-0 Conquerors. Bulldogs punting later in the half, and this one is not handled Trinity gets the ball at the Swanee 12-yard line. Not what they want. Fourth and goal for the two. Crowley and the Wildcats. Scores again. 20 to nothing. Conquerors go on to win it. 62 to 15. Wakulla at Rebalt. Rebalt in the black. Wakulla in the white. Late first quarter. 8-0 Rebalt. Wakulla driving. Fourth and three. Jalen Worsham to Sage Bowell. Takes it down to the 30, uh, rather the 20-yard line for the first down. Second quarter, second and goal from the two. Worsham sneaks it in. Touchdown, War Eagles. 8-7 Rebolt. Rebolt punting from deep of their own end. And Wakola with a block. War Eagles recover at the 16-yard line. In good shape here. Rebolt defense tested. But they would bow their necks here. Emmanuel Smith with a five-yard tackle for loss. Forces a field goal attempt. Right now in the fourth quarter, Wakola a 17-8 to eight lead. will bring you a final when we get it. This will be the matchup in the next round. Trinity Christian will go on. It'll be the winner of this Wakola Rebalt game going to Trinity. If it's Rebalt, it'll be a rematch of a game won by the Conquerors. 47 0 this year. Conquerors defense has been as good as the offense, giving up just 11 points per game this season. Coming up, we check in on another of the 5A hopefuls the Bulls Bulldogs in action on the road. Bulls traveling way west. Could the dogs bring home a win? And as we look from high above, Trinity, the helicopter Sky 4 getting you a bird's eye view of the Conquerors' dominant win tonight. Stick around, more to come on Football Friday.